This A part of the small factory is available on the ClickUp module site uh, for the simulation course under class examples. You can download it. Uh, you can download the zip file, which is made up of two parts, the actual AnyLogic model, which has an ALP extension, as well as the uh, facility layout image, a PNG file. And you need both of them in order to, to run this model in its current form. So this is the version that you can download. <clears throat> Since we're going to edit it now, I'm going to change its name and I'm going to rather save it as small factory B. I'm changing the model name as well as the Java package as well, just to make sure that it is distinct from the A version. And now you can actually see the name has changed to small factory B. So I can freely edit this and still have access to the A part should I mess something up. Now we're going to add a little bit more detail to our model. And what we're going to do is change kind of the look and feel of some of the entities that are moving around. So far we've kept to the default agent type called agent and it gave us these smarty like um, entities that arrived on the conveyor and arrived in the door storage area and we would like to actually make them a little bit more distinct. So I'm going to illustrate how you create new entity types. So in main I'm going to click file new agent type or I can also right click on just main and say new agent type. I'm not going to use a, a current template. The name of my new type is going to be body. I'm not going to choose any of their animation right now. I want to add some parameters to my body and specifically the parameter that I'm going to add is going to be its length. I'm going to make that a double value and the double value, let's make it 0.5. I add a new one, call the next parameter width. Make that a double as well. Let's make it 0.5 as well. And I currently assume that this is in terms of meters. I will account for the difference in my model later on. I want to add another one, height, which is also a double precision value. And let's make that 1.5 meters high. And I will click finish. It added my length width uh, for some reason it didn't add my parameter, so let's just fix that. Height, double, and the default value is 1.5. So you can now see that in my small factory model, there is a new entity type called body. It has no animation right now. It only has three parameters. I want to zoom into the crosshair of this area. because this is where I want to add the animation. The animation will be centered on the crosshair area. So that would be um, the position around which my entities will actually um, pivot if they do move around in the model. To give them some, or to draw my own animation, I'm going to my palette and I'm not going to my space marker, but rather my presentation. And I'm going to just draw uh, use the rectangle, double click on it so that I can draw a little box. I'm going to keep it very simple. Both the width and the height currently is set at 20 units, <coughs> which is probably a little bit big. Let's make it 10 units and just drag it nicely to the center. If you need more detail, you can just zoom in. So that will be the animation shape that will be used for this entity or this agent type. Save my model. For now, I can actually just close. And I want to go to my project and create two more 
agent types. I want to create one, again not using the template, this one I'm going to call door. Not going to use their animation, not going to add any parameters and just say finish. Again, I'm going to zoom into the crosshair area and going to my presentation palette. This time around, I want to draw a circle with a door. Just roughly get my sizes right. The radius is 6.5, which means it will probably be 10 units. Let's make it slightly smaller, 4, and center it around the crosshairs. Finished creating my door unit. Very straightforward, but you can add any amount of detail in here uh, that you actually wish. I'm going to close that one and in my project create one more new agent type this one I'm going to call the assembly not using any of their animation not going to add any parameters and just say finish zoom in width is 14 by 20 I want to make it like 10 by 10 because that was the size of my body so the assembly should roughly be about the same size and I'm also going to add since this is the assembly I'm going to double click on it and just draw with radius 3 Probably that was the size of the door that I drew earlier and combining the two should give me my assembly roughly let me just add a little bit of color line color make that the full color make it yellow and I can save my assembly as well. What I now want to do is actually change the model logic so that the entities that arrive on the body's side will not be general agents anymore, but that that entire line until we get to the assembly will now address the type of entity that we call body and not the default agent anymore. So we go to the source, it will ask us what entity type is actually being created. We're going to take out the default entity and we can actually start typing body, control space. And there it actually picks up that yes, in small factory B there indeed is a class called body. Where the new entity is created, when I click on agent it actually brings up a list where I can see it recognizes the other classes that I've already created and I'm going to choose body. On the bodies block the type of entities that should be put inside that body storage area is again not agent type but control space body and I choose the body from my list. Similarly to the conveyor, the entity type that is being moved on that conveyor should also be a body, not a gen generic agent. And if I go to my assembler block, I have to be careful because the first agent is actually associated with the entities that will be Gener generated once the assembly is finished. So what goes out of this model 
of model block is not a general agent, but it will actually be the assembly. So I start typing assembly control space and the entity that I've created, the entity type is called assembly. Associated with the incoming line is the body. So the first incoming line, I'll pick it up, and the second line will now be door. And the new entity that is being created is not agent, but assembly. Now I just go down to the section that covers the doors. There too, the entity type that is created should not be agent anymore. This time it should be door. And in the storage area, it should also not have the generic agent, but door. I keep using control space because that helps me ensure that I don't make any typo mistakes when typing um, variable names or object names or something that I know is available because Java is case sensitive. If I did this correctly and I run my model now, I should, instead of seeing smarty like dots, see body objects being created in the body storage area and put onto the conveyor. And in the door storage area, I should see the doors uh, using the new animation that I've kind of created. There does seem to be quite a space or seeming overlap on the unit, on the conveyor. We can check that out later. And now you actually see that the assembly is being produced looks like the squares with the yellow dots that I've created for that particular animation.